वेलकम टू साइंस स्टोर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस forget to like our video and subscribe our youtube channel for all the updates welcome to all my dear students today i am taking biology class under that we are studying the chapter cell the unit of life okay we have studied the different organelles of the cell right we have uh, mainly there are two types of the cell uh, under eukaryotic cell two types of cell we can see based on their uh, structural organization that is prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell in eukaryotic cell again we can see two types of the cell that is plant cell and animal cell and here more we have studied we can we have seen the different types of the organelles membrane bound organelles which is completely absent in a prokaryotic cell here few of the organelles present in plant cell which is completely absent in animal cell and few organelles present in plant animal cell which is completely absent in plant cell we have studied about the different types of the organelles that is first we have studied the membrane system and we have studied the cell wall and we have study the endomembrane system where their function structure varies function varies but their functions are coordinated so they grouped under a common category we'll call it as endomembrane system under that we have studied endoplasmic reticulum golgi complex vacuoles lysosomes these are endomembrane system okay and also we have studied about the mitochondria plastids and we have also studied the ribosome and cyto uh, cytoskeleton system we have studied the cytoskeleton system and also we have studied the cilia structure of the cilia where we have com completely studied how the these microfibrils proteinaceous microfibrils are arranged that we have studied in the last class today in this class we are going to study about the centrosome or and centrioles centrosomes and centrioles the, their structure we are studying mainly the centrosomes are seen in animal cell only in animal cell we can see the structure of the centrosomes okay the, the centrosomes contain two main parts the two main uh, parts that will call it as two main cylindrical structure that will call it as centrioles very important the centrioles structure of centrioles and the important uh, centrioles are very important in animal cell and which is completely absent in plant cell yeah do the centrosomes animal cell alli matra irutade plant cell alli absent agirutade so adralli eradu cylindrical structure irutade that cylindrical structure we'll call it as centrioles okay here the cylindrical structures are arranged perpendicular to one another okay they are arranged this is one one centriole and this is another centriole this is another centriole which is per, per, arranged perpendicular to one another they are present perpendicular to one another okay here then they are in the internal structure and it is surrounded by the amorphous amorphous pericentriolar materials they are they contain they contain amorphous this this surround it is surrounded by not surrounded by any membrane instead it is surrounded by a peri sorry amorphous pericentriolar pericentriolar materials okay 
these structures are surrounded by amorphous pericentriolar materials this is not a membrane bound structure it is a membrane bound structure agirudilla idra badlige idra sutta amorphous pericentriolar materials annu hondirutade so here these structures are arranged perpendicular to an one another they are present perpendicular to one another okay and they the uh, internal structure the if we see the central portion uh, if we study the uh, detail structure of the centriole it looks like a cartwheel shaped structure you can see the cartwheel shaped structure you can see the organization of the microtubules organization of the microtubules or the tubular structure is like a cartwheel shape alva cartwheel andre bulla cards alella wheels irthadalla like this cartwheel shape alli arrange agirutade so it is outerly surrounded by peri peripheral tubules okay peripheral tubules peripheral uh, proteins pro they are arranged with the evenly spread uh, peripheral fibrils they are arranged with these are nothing but peripheral fibrils these are five uh, peripheral fibrils and it is made up of tubulin protein these made up of these tubules uh, peripheral fibrils fiber like structure is made up of tubulin protein tubulin protein in the uh, it is chemically made up of tubulin protein this fibrils and here each fibrils each uh, this uh, peripheral fibrils having a three main fibers they are arranged with the three main fibers so it is called as triplet the peripheral fibrils are in triplet nature each contain each peripheral fibrils contain three fibers more fibers and now under there so this we'll call it as triplets where in uh, so while studying the flagella we have seen the doublets alva peripheral doublets anta nodideve illi triplets three fibers anna hondirutade so we will call it as a peripheral triplets okay here they are uh, arranged uh, there are nine peripheral peripheral fibrils are there nine ide 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 nine peripheral fibrils are there and they are triplet in nature where it contains each peripheral fibrils contain three fibers three long fibers anna hondirutade so they will call it as triplets okay and here you can see the central proteinaceous part here we can see the central proteinaceous part that will call it as a hub that portion the proteinaceous central part a proximal region is also called as central hub or it is also called as hub the central portion anna navu hub anta helteve here this central portion these all these peripheral fibrils are connected to the central hub by the uh, strand like structure by the connection we'll call it as radial spoke okay this connection to the central hub the connection of the peripheral fibrils to central hub is called as is called as it is called as radial spoke this we'll call it as a radial spoke okay these are the main this is peripheral fibrils uh, central proteinaceous part we'll call it as a central hub and it is uh, connected this peripheral fibrils are connected to the central hub by the connection called radial spokes and each these peripheral fibrils are in turn connected okay in turn they are connected there is a connection between uh, two different peripheral fibrils very peri peripheral fibrils irtadalla adra madhe connection irtade that will call it as linker this connection will call it as a linker they here peripheral fibrils are link we can see the linkage between the peripheral fibrils that will call it as linkers okay and here the main function of the 
this uh, centrioles the main function of the centrioles are they are they forms a basal body they forms a basal body for the for the flagella or cilia cilia matte flagella do basal body agi uh, arrange agirutade so the basal body of cilia the centrioles forms the basal body here the centrioles form the basal body of uh, flagella and cilia usually some of the centrioles are present just below the plasma membrane itara cell idre plasma membrane kelage you can see the presence of centriole okay like the centrioles are present from this you can see the you can see the uh, flagella or flagella or cilia cilia or flagella arises from this centrosomes or centriole part the centriole part in the flagella athava cilia arise aagutade so hagagi idanna basal body anta helteve where we have seen in uh, bacteria bacteria dalli basal body irutadalla basal body hook matte filament muru part irutadalla illi basal body illi sa basal body irutade there the basal body is formed by centrosome centrosome basal body anna form martade and in sometimes it is also in animal cell spindle fibers okay very important spindle fibers are usually formed from the centrosome during the cell division cell division aagtadalla this is a cell animal cell you can see the animal cell during the animal cell the nuclear division uh, the, the nu central nucleus present just above the nucleus you can see the presence of the uh, presence of the centrosome usually before the cell division this centrosome will divide gradually it move to the opposite pole at the opposite pole ge hogutade ee centrosome double aagi so ee eradu double aadaga illi replication aagutade two nucleus will be formed okay they divide the division nuclear division takes place so it gradually forms a small fiber microfiber like structure okay the fibril microfibrils structure anna form maartade ee centriole matte ee centro centrosomes madhe between this two centrosome duplicated centrosome madhe en aagtade small fibrils arise aagtade so that gradually takes the chromosome chromosome anna bere bere part ge opposite pole ge move aaglikke help maartade ee centrosome so this forms the spindle fibers this spindle fibers are very important for the movement of the chromosome chromosome movement aaglikke ee spindle fibers very important in animal cell we can see the formation of spindle fibers by the help of centrosome centrosomes in the spindle fiber form aagtade so that spindle fiber lead to the distribution of the chromosome chromosome bere ಬೇರೆ ಸೆಲ್ಗೆ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಡಾಟರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಗೆ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಗಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಮಾಡ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ಡಿವಿಷನ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಡಿವಿಷನ್ ಆಗಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಮಾಡ್ತದೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಯೂಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟ್ರೋಸೋಮ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಮೂವ್ ಟು ದ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆರ್ಗನಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆರ್ಗನಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ right a nucleus nucleus is a one more important very important part of the cell where all the cellular functions are controlled by the nucleus the nucleus en martade ella cellular activity anna control martade next important organelles nucleus it was first discovered by robert brown it was first the nucleus that uh, the organelle nucleus was first discovered and observed by robert brown in 
1831 in 1831 robert brown first observed the nucleus okay he first observed the nucleus and described the describe about the nucleus okay later by detailed staining by using different uh, dyes okay by using uh, stained by the basic dyes okay the structure of the nucleus or the chromatin fibers was later uh, studied by staining with the basic dyes basic dyes are used maadkondu nucleus anna stain maadi adra parts anna study maadtare so the material of the nucleus okay material nucleus alli yavudella material chromatin nucleolus ella idiyalla adanna stain maadi last ge yaru flemings who described who gave a detailed description about the nucleus various parts of the nucleus adra bage description anna flemings kodtane by using the basic dyes basic dyes anna upayogiskondu en maartane nucleus anna stain maartane nucleus material aga differentiation aagutade nuclear materials irtadalla membrane uh, chromatin nucleolus nucleoplasm these can be differentiated by staining procedure by that he described the detailed structure of the nucleus yes here the structure of the nucleus especially contains different parts like outerly it is covered by membrane it may con mainly contain outerly covered membrane is outerly covered with the membrane system here also this nucleus are is covered with two membrane system here nucleus is also covered with two membrane system that is outer membrane and inner membrane this outer membrane and inner membrane and in between these two membrane you can see the space that will call it as nuclear perinuclear space this is outer nuclear membrane and this is inner nuclear membrane membrane this is inner nuclear membrane in between these two you can see a peri nuclear space which separate the inner content of the nucleus with the cytoplasm so, uh, so nucleus olagiruva materials anna cytoplasm uh, cytoplasm in the differentiate matter this membrane the outer membrane system will partitions the uh, this perinuclear this nuclear content with the cytoplasmic content cytoplasmic content in the separate matter so the function here the matrix is different compared to the cytoplasm cytoplasm matrix in the different agirutade the inner matrix of the nucleus is called called as inner materials fluid material will call it as matrix or nucleoplasm will call mainly will call it as nucleoplasm the inner fluid material of the inner fluid semi fluid material of the nucleus is also called as nucleoplasm okay nucleoplasm ant helteve and inside the nucleus you can see a dark stained circular body okay spherical body is present inside the nucleus while staining it absorbs more stain so dark uh, area age observe aagutade stain maaduvaga enagutade illo ond dark uh, spherical uh, region kaanteve that region we'll call it as nucleolus that darkly stained spherical structure will call it as nucleo nucleolus and you can see a small thread like structure inside this you can see a small thread like structure these thread like structures are nothing but chromatins this thin thread like structure present inside the nucleus is called as 
chromatins okay and here this is the main part of the nucleus the structure of the nucleus which outerly covered by the membrane nuclear membrane nuclear membrane is the nuclear membrane is double layered which contain outer membrane and inner membrane system and in between the membranes you can see the peri nuclear space peri nuclear space and inside the fluid containing region we'll call it as nucleoplasm and here you can inside this nucleoplasm you can see a darkly stained spherical structure okay that we'll call it as nucleolus and inside the nucleolus you can see the, inside this nuclear nucleus you can see a thread like structure that we'll call it as chromatin so then now chromatin so the health we will study the uh, one uh, will study the structure one by one okay here the it is oh uh, this here you can see the L here usually these chromatins are made outerly it is covered by membrane okay it will this membrane system is very important it is a characteristic feature of eukaryotic cell alva helidanalla prokaryotic cell alli membrane uh, around the nucleus is absent so they do not contain a true nucleus alva prokaryotic cell study madvaga nodidave alli nuclear membrane irudilla so we won't call it as a true nucleus but in eukaryotes because of the presence of the nuclear membrane we'll call it as a true nucleus true nucleus anta now with anna health away illi outer membrane with the inner membrane with the outer membrane is continuous with the endoplasmic reticulum here now some of the outer membrane continues with the endoplasmic reticulum here it is continuous with the endoplasmic reticulum and also you can see the attachment of the ribosome on the surface of the nuclear membrane outer nuclear membrane you can see the attachment of the you can see the attachment of the ribosomes okay you can see the attachment of the ribosomes and this is continuous with the endoplasmic reticulum and in between these two space you can see a space called peri nuclear space you can see the peri nuclear space and it separates the inner membrane this is here you can see the inner membrane and here the main function of this outer and in the membrane is they are uh, they are permeable in nature the main function of the nuclear membrane or any membrane system they are permeability okay is the main function okay this this forms a definite structure to the this gives the definite structure to the nucleus nucleus ige on the definite structure anna kodta the membrane system and also it will separate the nuclear content from rest of the cytoplasmic content cytoplasmic content in the in nuclear content anna separate maadthade and here and you can see the fluid matrix fluid a matrix inside the nucleus that will call it as nucleoplasm it may contain water content uh, different proteins different uh, chemicals are present here nucleoproteins are present in fluid matrix and this so three thin thread like fiber like structure is especially made up of nucleoprotein this chromatins are made up of nucleoprotein especially it is made up of nucleoproteins okay nucleoproteins in the agar today nucleoproteins nucleic acid plus proteins is present uh, together forms a chromatin threads or chromatin fibers in a form are there so that is nothing but the dna it is i think this chromatin fibers contain the dna thin thread like dna structure dna structure anna hondirutade and also here the space between the this inner membrane and outer membrane the perinuclear the space between the inner membrane and outer membrane is about 10 to 15 nanometer the space is there today perinuclear space is do length about 10 to 15 nanometer is there and here one more important feature you can see here this nuclear membranes are not continuous here the nuclear membranes are not continuous continuous it is interrupted by small 
pores that is nuclear pores you can see on the surface of the nucleus okay nucleus madhye nuclear membrane continuous agude agirudilla it is interrupted by small mi microscopic spore openings pores okay this are pores here in the pore, pore region you can see the outer region will uh, continuous with the inner region here they continuous with the inner region you can see the fusion of the outer and inner membrane you can see where there is a spore nuclear pores at the r regionally you can see the fusion of outer and inner membrane so it form a small passage to it will uh, form a passage between the cytoplasm and the nucleoplasm nucleoplasm matte cytoplasm ge small passage anna form maartade so that it can easily exchange the protein and rna whatever rna is transcribed alva en aagutade protein synthesis ge mrna beku rna beku messenger rna beku adu illinda synthesis aagutade namma nuclear this dna will synthesize the mrnas so that rna will pass out through this nuclear pore ಓಕೆ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಪೋರ್ ಮೂಲಕ ಸೈಟೋಪ್ಲಾಸಮಿಗೆ ಹೋಗ್ತದೆ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಆಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಹೊರಗೆ ಸೈಟೋಪ್ಲಾಸಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆಗುವ ಕಾರಣ ಏನಾಗ್ತದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವುದೇ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ಆದರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಹೋಗಿ ಸೈಟೋಪ್ಲಾಸಮಿಗೆ ಹೋಗ್ತದೆ ಇನ್ ಸೈಟೋಪ್ಲಾಸಮ್ ದ ರೈಬೋಸೋಮ್ ವೆಲ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಆರ್ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಎಯಿಂದ ಸೊ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಮತ್ತು ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ವಾಟ್ಎವರ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ಆಗಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ರೆಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆಗಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಏನೆಲ್ಲ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಫೆಸ್ ಇದ್ಬೇಕು ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ಫೆಸಿಲಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಸಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಎಂಟರ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿಸ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಪೋರ್ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ಸ್ ಬೇಕು ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆ್ಯಸಿಡ್ಸ್ ಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಬೇಕು ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿಸ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಪೋರ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಪೋರ್ ಮೂಲಕ ಏನಾಗ್ತದೆ ಸೈ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ಸಿಗೆ ಹೋಗ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸಲ್ಲಿ ಏನೆಲ್ಲ ಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಅದು ಇದರ ಮೂಲಕ ಹೊರಗೆ ಸೈಟೋಪ್ಲಾಸಮಿಗೆ ಹೋಗ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ದೆರ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಚೇಂಜ್ ದೇ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಅ ಪ್ಯಾಸೇಜ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ nucleoplasm and cytoplasm that facilitate the uh, exchange of protein and rna material between the nucleus and the cytoplasm hagagi is a nucleus en maatade ene information kodbekadru rna moolaga kodtade aa rna en aagtade illinda horagogi cytoplasm alli protein synthesis aagtade protein different proteins different function anna lead maatade different protein synthesis agudrinda bere bere function carry out aagtade so hage idakke bekada requirement cyto ಸೈಟೋಪ್ಲಾಸಮ್ ಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತದೆ ಆ ಸೈಟೋಪ್ಲಾಸಮ್ ಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದು ಈ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಪೋರ್ ಮೂಲಕ ಹೋಗಿ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯೋಪ್ಲಾಸಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ಒಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಜಾಯ್ ಒಟ್ಟಾಗಿ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಕಾಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ ಅವ್ರ ಡೆ ರೆಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆಗಲಿ ಯಾರ ಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ಆಗಲಿ ಆ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಕೆಲಸಗಳಿಗೆ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಮಾಡ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಹೇರ್ ಯೂಶ್ವಲಿ ದ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ವೇರೀಸ್ ಯೂಶ್ವಲಿ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಒನ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಒಂದು ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿರ್ತದೆ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಒನ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ಓಕೆ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿರ್ತದೆ ಇನ್ ಸಮ್ ಸಿನೋಸಿಟಿಕ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ನೋಡಿದಿರಲ್ಲ ಇನ್ ಫಂಗಸ್ ಸಿನೋಸಿಟಿಕ್ ವೇರ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸಿ ಎನಿ ಸೆಪ್ಟಾ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಿಲಮೆಂಟ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಫಿಲಮೆಂಟ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಅನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿರ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸಿ ಎನಿ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ವಾಲ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ವಾಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಆಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಸಿ ದೆರ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋ ಡಿವಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೈಟೋಪ್ಲಾಸಮ್ ಸೈಟೋಪ್ಲಾಸಮ್ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಆಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ವಾಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಆಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಸಿ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫಿಲಮೆಂಟ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಸಿ ದ ಮಲ್ಟಿ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗ್ತದೆ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತದೆ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಡಿವಿಷನ್ ಆದಮೇಲೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸೈಟೋಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಮಿಕ್ ಸೈಟೋ 
many you can see many nucleoli okay usually nucleus is a singular nucleoli or nuclei is a singular uh, plural of nucleus idu nucleolus idu plural nucleoli many nucleoli may be present based on the the functioning of the cell so cell function basis alli you can see different types of the different uh, the number of the new nucleoli varies okay the main function of nucleolus is okay here the some of the cells also lack this nucleus example erythrocytes that is rbc in rbc or erythrocytes and in plants cu tubes cu tube cells they are living cells but they lack nucleus La uh, nucleus anna hondirudilla ee cells galu cu tube cells in case of phloem phloem alli cu tubes irtadalla adralli nucleus absent agirtade erythrocytes rbc cell irtadalla that lack nucleolus here usually their uh, functioning is controlled by some other factors some bare bare hormone athava bare factors adra function anna control maartade so they lack nucleus but still they are living they carry out the life process ee cu tube agli the erythrocytes age nucleus hondillade idru life process anna maartade so they are living cells they are also living cells okay because of some condition some adaptation for our body they lack the nucleus bere bere any condition indage adu nucleus anna hondirudilla but they carry out the life process cu erythrocyte id function ನಮ್ಮ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಅಥವಾ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಯಂಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ನಮ್ಮ ಎಲ್ಲ ಬಾಡಿ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಗಳಿಗೆ ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡ್ತದೆ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಯಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಅನ್ನ ಎಲ್ಲ ಬಾಡಿ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಗೆ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ದ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ದ ಫುಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿ ಯು ಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈಸ್ ದ ಫುಡ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಇದು ಎಲ್ಲ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸಿಗೆ ಫುಡ್ಡನ್ನು ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿ ಯು ಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ದೇ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಕನ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಕಂಪ್ಯಾನಿಯನ್ ಸೆಲ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕಂಟೈನ್ ಅ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಯಾನಿಯನ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿರ್ತದೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಫ್ಲೋಯಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ಫ್ಲೋಯಮ್ ಸಿ ಯು ಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಇದು ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಅನ್ನು ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಮಾಡ್ತದೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಸಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ಅಬೌ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಆದಂತಹ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ದ ಮೇಜರ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ here the fluid part which contains the nucleolus and chromatin fibers the main function of nucleolus is rna synthesis the main function of nucleolus is rna synthesis ಸೊ ಯಾವುದೇ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ಅಥವಾ ರೈಬೋಸೋಮಲ್ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ಯಾವುದರಲ್ಲಿ ಆಗೋದು ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯೋಲಸ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯೋಲಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮೈನ್ ರೀಜನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಸಿಂಥಸೈಸಸ್ ರೈಬೋಸೋಮಲ್ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ದ ಮೆಸೆಂಜರ್ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಎಮ್ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ದೀಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಸಿಂಥಸೈಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಕ್ರೊಮ್ಯಾಟಿನ್ ಫೈಬರ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರೊಮ್ಯಾಟಿನ್ ಫೈಬರ್ಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಎನ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತದೆ ಬಟ್ ರೈಬೋಸೋಮಲ್ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಅಥವಾ ರೈಬೋಸೋಮಗೆ ಬೇಕಾದಂಥ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಎಗಳನ್ನು ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯೋಲಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯೋಲಸ್ ಸಿಂಥಸೈಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ರೈಬೋಸೋಮಲ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ರಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯೋಲಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ರೈಬೋಸೋಮಲ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ರಿ ವಿಚ್ ಸಿಂಥಸೈಸಸ್ ದ ರೈಬೋಸೋಮಲ್ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ you can see the uh, structure here the usually this nucleolus is a spherical structure spherical structure which can clearly differentiated from the rest of the nucleoplasm okay and it is not membrane bound okay illi adra content uh, nucleoplasm ottige continuous agutte the content of the nucleolus continuous with the nucleoplasm it is not separated by nuclear membrane athava yavde membrane system separate madudilla their content is Uh, continuous with the uh, nucleoplasm the main they are compact structure on the form mark today so that compact uh, structure will help for the synthesis of RNA 
ribosomal RNA synthesis large and more numerous nucleoli present in actively carry out in protein synthesis actively the cell which uh, active in protein synthesis protein synthesis maduaga madlike yava cell active irthade antaha cell galalli you can see many nucleus nuclei nucleoli anna kanbahudu the number of nucleolus varies okay depending on the activity of the cell Okay, main beku protein synthesis model ke main beku ribosomes beku. So the ribosomes ya vaga synthesis akte ya udhar in the synthesis akte the nucleolus in the synthesis akte the. So protein synthesis just ya akbe kidre ribosomes just the beka akte the. Ribosomes just the beka dre ali nucleolus just the beka akte. So anta cell ka ali nucleolus numbers just the to the. This is about the structure, the detailed structure of the nucleolus. All the parts we have studied in detail. फंक्षन अन्न स्टडी माड़ि देवे, chromatin which contain DNA, DNA न होंदे तदे, which is nothing but the nucleoproteins, which is made up of nucleoprotein, nucleic acid as well as protein, okay, आ, nucleic acid is nothing but DNA, which type of nucleic acid is present, DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid अन्न होंदे तदे, eukaryotic cell, genetic material, दा गिर तदे, so, अधन्न अधु interrupted with histone protein अन्न होंदे तदे, that we are going to study in detail while studying the structure of chromosome so अधन nucleo protein इन्द आगिर्थते so एन अथ्थ दे free stage लिर्वाग resting stage लिर्वाग nucleus the E chromatin fibers अल्ली thread like structure लिर्थ दे cell division आगवाग can see the formation of ribosome sorry chromosome chromosome formation आगत दे आवग cell divide आगवा टाइम अल्ली अधर फ्री टाइम अल्ली अथवा रेस्टिंग टाइम अल्ली यू कैन सी द क्रोमाटिन इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फाइबर्स ओके लेटर डिवाइड आगे के क्रोमाटिन वाइंड अप आगे क्रोमोसोम स्ट्रक्चर आगे कन्वर्ट आता दे Next, we'll study about the structure of the chromosome. Here, usually, the chromatin fibers are free in uh, the in, uh, resting stage of the cell. During the cell division process, it will wind up, it will uh, coil itself, interwind itself, and form a compact structure that we'll call it as chromosomes. Here, these chromatin fibers, which contain two main parts chromatin fibers which can uh, which contains two main parts that is dna deoxyribonucleic acid and also it contains proteins here it contains proteins the main part of the dna and uh, some basic proteins that is proteins are non histone histone proteins especially you can find histone proteins and some amount of non histone protein non histone protein there are two main types of protein present dna and protein are the main components of chromatin fibers chromatin fibers are the main two components of the dna mate proteins proteins only it may contain histone large amount of histone protein and a no some amount of uh, small amount of non histone protein also present here you are going to study about the detailed structure of the chromosome chromosome hege form action uh, form aagutade chromatin fiber hege form aagutade that you are going to study in second year that model we will call it as nucleosome model nucleosome model and then now study matte where where you can study how these histone proteins are present the histone protein is the day eight so it are a histone protein arrange are given today so this DNA will wind around this histone protein okay it are a wind agi the chromatin thread doctor there this thread like structure form of the that will in turn into interwind agi in no interval 
ಇದು ಕಾಂಪ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಇಂಟರ್ವೈನ್ ಆಗಿ ಆಗಿ ಕ್ರೋಮೋಸೋಮ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರನ್ನ ಮಾಡ್ತ ಮಾಡ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ದ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯೋಸೋಮ್ ಮಾಡೆಲ್ ಈ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರನ್ನು ನಾವು ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯೋಲೋಸೋಮ್ ಮಾಡೆಲ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೇವೆ ಇಟ್ ಕಂಟೈನ್ ಹಿಸ್ಟೋನ್ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯೋಸೋಮ್ ಮಾಡೆಲ್ಲಿ ಹಿಸ್ಟೋನ್ ಮತ್ತು ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎನ್ನ ಹೊಂದಿರ್ತದೆ ದಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಇನ್ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಮೇನ್ ಕಾಂಪೊನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕ್ರೊಮ್ಯಾಟೀನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಟ್ ಕಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಸಮ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ರೊಮ್ಯಾಟಿನ್ ಫೈಬರ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರೊಮ್ಯಾಟಿನ್ ಫೈಬರ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ರೋಮೋಸೋಮ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ಕ್ರೊಮ್ಯಾಟಿನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸಿ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಓಕೆ ಹಿಯರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ದ ಲೆಂತ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕ್ರೊಮ್ಯಾಟಿನ್ ಫೈಬರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ದ ಲೆಂತ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ಇನ್ ಈಚ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ಕಂಟೈನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಟೂ ಮೀಟರ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ಟೂ ಮೀಟರ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಇರುವಷ್ಟು ಡಿ ಎನ್ನ ಹೊಂದಿರ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಅ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟೂ ಮೀಟರ್ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಫೋರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರೋಮೋಸೋಮ್ ಕ್ರೋ ಫೋರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರೋಮೋಸೋಮಲ್ಲಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಫೋರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರೋಮೋ ಇನ್ ಫೋರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರೋಮೋಸೋಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೂ ಮೀಟರ್ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಈವನ್ಲಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಗಿರ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ಎಷ್ಟು ಟೂ ಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಲಾಂಗ್ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಅದಷ್ಟು ಕಾಂಪ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಇಂಟರ್ವೈನ್ ಆಗಿ ಆಗಿ ಯು ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋಸ್ಕೋಪಿಕ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋಸ್ಕೋಪಿಕ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಡಿ 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 ಎನ್ ಎ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಅಷ್ಟು ಚಿಕ್ಕದಿರ್ತದೆ ಅಷ್ಟು ಚಿಕ್ಕ ಸೆಲ್ಲಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡು ಮೀಟರ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಅಷ್ಟು ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿರ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ಆ ಎರಡು ಮೀಟರ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ಫೋರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರೋಮೋಸೋಮ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಗಿರ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ದ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಯು ಇನ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಫೋರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರೋಮೋಸೋಮ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಪ್ಯಾರ್ಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ತ್ರೀ ಪ್ಯಾರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರೋಮೋಸೋಮನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿರ್ತದೆ ಇಟ್ ಕಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಪ್ಯಾರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರೋಮೋಸೋಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಓಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರೊಮೋಸೋಮ್ ಹೌ ದ ಕ್ರೊಮ್ಯಾಟಿನ್ ಕ್ರೊಮ್ಯಾಟಿನ್ ಹೇಗೆ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ಪ್ಯಾಕೇಜಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ಹೇಗೆ ಪ್ಯಾಕೇಜಿಂಗ್ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ಪ್ಯಾಕೇಜಿಂಗ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಅದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ನೀವು ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯೋಸೋಮ್ ಮಾಡೆಲಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಿ ಅದು ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಇಯರ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತದೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕ್ರೊಮೋಸೋಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯೂಶ್ವಲಿ ದ ಸ್ಟ ಈಚ್ ಕ್ರೊಮೋಸೋಮ್ ಕಂಟೇನ್ ಟೂ ಸ್ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಟೂ ಸ್ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿರ್ತದೆ This is a typical structure of the chromosome. The central portion we will call it as the central part. This will call it as primary constriction. Here it contains two strands. Each strand we will call it as each strand of the each part of the chromo- chromosome is called as chromatid. Okay, each strand and now you want the single strand and now chromatid and held the way this chromatids are held together by a important part we'll call it as centromere that we'll call it as centromere that's uh, the center uh, the part which is present in primary constriction primary constriction and a perform at the small depression at our uh, cleave this ಪಿಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಗಿರ್ತದೆ ಕ್ರೊಮೋಸೋಮ್ 
a disc like structure on the lateral surface on the construction region you can see a disc shaped structure that will call it as kinetopore kineto course that will call it as kineto course a structure anna a disc shaped structure anna now kineto course anta heldave that is made up of proteinaceous substance proteinaceous substance inda maadirthade small disc shaped structure alli irthade on lateral side of the centromere centromere idu lateral side centromere idu lateral side alli you can see the kineto course you can see kineto course okay here this is a structure and sometimes you can see a small one more constriction okay you can see one more constriction that will call it as secondary constriction secondary constriction anta helteve based on the position of this centromere we can classify the chromosome into four main types here four main types chromosome anna now classify maarteve yavudar basis alli position of the centromere centromere position iddu basis alli we can classify the chromosome into four main types first one is metacentric second submetacentric third one is acrocentric acrocentric and one more is telocentric one more is telocentric these are the four main types of the chromosomes okay four main types of the chromosome based on the position of the centromere so some middle portion alli centromere idre here the centromere is present in the middle which will divide the chromatids into two equal halves both the sides of the both the uh, the arms of the chromosome are equally divided then that type of chromosome is called as metacentric andre illi centromere region correct middle alli irthade aa chromatid arms equally divide agirthade so antaha chromosomes anna now metacentric anta helteve so here if the centrosomes is present centromere is present just above the middle portion or metacentric portion inda solpa mel idre here which divide the just above the middle okay here the centromeres are present just about the uh, just above the middle portion that then that type of uh, chromosome will call it as a submetacentric which divide the uh, chromatid arms into long arm and short arm long matte short arm age divide matte this is short arm this is long arm so this type of chromosome we'll call it as submetacentric submetacentric and one more acrocentric here here the centromere region the centromere is present just below the tip okay tip idu tip chromosome tip irthadalla adra just below centromere idre antaha chromosome anna we call it as acrocentric this will divide the chromatid arms into very short arms and long arms divide the chromatid arms into very short arms and long arms okay long arm matte thumba chikka arm age divide maartade yavudu acrocentric type of chromosome alli here the centromere is present just below the tip portion tip portion or ending ending portion kinta just okay here situated close to ends it is 
present just close to the ends of the chromosome. At the end, it is just below form. So, that is acrocentric. Next, last one is telocentric. Here, the centromere is present at the tip, or the tip of the chromosome is also called as telomere. E region and tip and now telomere and the health away. So, if the chromosome, uh, sorry, centrosome, centromere is present at the tip or the position of the telomere, telomere regionally, uh, centromere arise adre, atava attach agidre, antha region, antha chromosome and now telocentric chromosome and the health away. These are the four main types of the chromosome. Chromosome is the main types. In next class, we are going to study about the satellite. What is satellite? and micro bodies okay uh, thank you all my dear students don't forget to like our video and subscribe our youtube channel for all the updates